So in this tutorial, all I really want to show is how to take sounds from within Koala and add effects to them. So I'll add effects to pads, individual pads, like one shots, or and to sequences, and to add the effects in AUM and bring it back into Koala. And the other thing I want to show is how to take a sound that resides in AUM, like an instrument, like a synthesizer, and bring it into Koala. The purpose of this overall is to show you how to do some real simple things in AUM, bring them right into Koala so you can continue working in Koala. All right, so for my demo, I've just got some drums. I'm working at 110 BPM. So first step is to save your file. I call this test 22. I'm gonna hit save. All right, we're gonna leave Koala. We're gonna go into AUM. And so within AUM, this is a blank template, a blank file. We're gonna say add audio. This is an audio fader. Now, when you're working in AUM, you always wanna add a Koala in the effect slot, which is the small circle with the plus sign. There is almost no scenario I can think of where you ever want Koala to be in the instrument slot, which is at the top. Always put it here, all right? So choose audio unit extension, choose Koala. And the first thing you wanna do is to open Koala and choose load and bring in your file. So I'll test 22. And if you notice this default BPM in AUM is 120, I think I was working in 110. So I'm gonna click on 120 and drag to the left until I get to 110, all right? Now if I hit play, it sounds exactly the same. So if I wanna add an effect, you double click below the Koala icon and by double clicking, it adds another effect slot. So I can now choose an effect. So if I'm gonna to go to audio unit extension, I'm gonna choose grind. This is just a free distortion. I thought it would be a good example. It's free, anybody could get it. Um, if I hit play right now, it's gonna be super loud. And that's the distortion effect. It's actually really cool, the default, I really like. But for my example, I'm gonna choose Mojo Rising. And again, if I click play, it's gonna be really loud. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the mix and you're gonna hear less of the effect and more of the drum sound. So listen to that. I think that sounds pretty good. All right. So now if we look, Koala goes down, it goes from the top down. So it goes from Koala down into the distortion. And then if you keep following the line with the arrow, it goes out to the speaker. If you want to route audio back into Koala, you have to give this fader a name. The way AUM routes audio, if things aren't named, you can't say send the audio to the thing until it's named. So the way you name this fader is on the instrument slot at the top, you just click on it. And at the bottom where it says mix bus, you choose any letter. I'm gonna choose bus A because it's at the top and it's convenient. So now that we've named this fader, I can now choose uh, create another effect slot and we can choose bus send. And what that says is send the audio from this bus to one of these. So we're gonna send it to bus A. So now it goes from Koala to the distortion, down to the bus send. It avoids the speaker, instead routes back up to the letter A at the top and then back down to Koala. And that's generally gonna work, but you very often you'll need to go to sample and click on the little headphone icon if you wanna monitor the sound, okay? And so now, if we go to a pad and we hit record, and we go choose, let's do our, our kick drum. I think that one sounded good. So we'll go back to B, stop recording. And um, the if I hit play right now, it's gonna leave, the sound is gonna leave Koala and it's gonna go back through the distortion and you're gonna hear it sort of loop and you're gonna hear the distortion effect multiple times. So I could demo that. So you're hearing it, you're hearing it apply multiple times. And the way you stop doing that, if we don't wanna use the distortion right now, you just click on the effect and you drag it out and there's a little eject button, but we, we're not gonna eject it, we're just gonna leave it bypassed right now, which is just dragged to the left. So now when we work in Koala, we'll hear the sound, just the affected sound, but it won't keep looping the, the effect.
I kind of like the last one. I thought this one was good, but I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to zoom in on it. So I can get a good, nice, clean crop. We can leave the tail. It's fine. And so now we've got the sound. If I click on it and drag it down to A, I can drag it over my bass drum and it'll swap it out. And so if we hit play, that sounds pretty good. So the other thing I wanted to show was how to um, bring in the whole sequence. Instead of doing just one pad, we could go back to here. Um, we could hit record. And we're not going to hear the distortion, though, until we re-engage it. So I'm going to drag it back in, OK? So going back to Koala, I will start recording, rewind, hit the little rewind icon to the left of the play, and then hit play. And I, I hit stop. And interestingly, we can hear it repeating over and over the, the effect. So it's reminding us that we need to disengage it. So I'm going to disengage it. We're going to go to the sample and edit it. And the koala was nice enough to bring us the start point. But the end point, it was looping. So i got to find the looping point. I'm pretty sure I'll hit play. I'm pretty sure it's this. but And we could probably do that by just hitting loop. Get in real close and maybe hit play and see what it sounds like. Perfect. So that's great. So now we've got an affected version of the drum loop. So if I was to come to the next um, sequence, normally it would be on one bar, move it to two bars because we know it's a two bar loop. And this is the sound. So we can drag in two bars worth of it and play. That literally is the, the exercise. So if you wanted, you could hit save at this point and we could leave AUM, go back to Koala and we could choose load and load in the same exact audio file again. And there's our new sequence. If we go to B, you can see the new sequence and you're ready to go. You're back in Koala. So that was the first lesson I wanted to show. Second lesson I wanted to show is, well, what if you wanted to um, bring, bring in a instrument. So I'm going to go back to AUM. And um, so the way you would bring in a new instrument is you click on the a new fader and you go audio. And up at the instrument slot, which is the big circle at the top of the plus sign, you choose which instrument you want. I'm going to choose audio unit extension. For this example, I'm going to use Terra Pro, but you can use any sound source you want that makes some, anything that makes a sound. Um, so if you go into Terra Pro and you click at the top left, the little piano icon, it brings up the built-in AUM um, piano player and it will play the source of this audio. So that's pretty much it. So um, this sound I think is a little too long for, for what I wanna do in um, Koala. So I'm gonna scroll down to a sound that's just shorter. Super loud. And um, right now, the audio leaves Terra Pro, and if we follow the, the line down, it goes to the effect slot, which is empty, and then down to the headphone jack. So the audio is never going to make it to Koala, which is over on the A bus. So what you can do is you can do what we did in the last example. You can click on the effects bus, effect slot and choose bus send and choose send to bus A. So you could do that. That's one, one route. Um, the other thing you could do is you could click on the little uh, speaker head uh, icon on the bottom and choose Mix Bus A. So that's another route, another way to do it. There's a couple of ways to do the same things in Koala or in AUM. So now the audio from Terra Pro is going to go down to A, over to A, down to Koala. But then if you notice, it's not going to hit the distortion because we bypassed it, but it is going to go into A and it's going to go to the send bus here and then go back into A and you're gonna kinda get a, a repeating thing. We don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna actually bypass this little bus send as well. I think the only reason why we have these two is from my last example. So normally you wouldn't have this. Um, so for this example, um, 
the audio now is going to go into Koala. And if I were to hit, um, go to sample and hit record, and we could actually rewind um, and hit play and play along to the music. See what that sounds like. We're going to Koala, stop it. So you can just grab one individual sound and you're pretty much ready to go. So if I hit save and we leave AUM, sorry, leave AUM, go to Koala, and we need to load in our file. And if we go to B, there's our sound. So we're pretty much ready to go. So if I wanted to play along with this, I would just go to here and maybe choose that sound, make it chromatic, hit record, play. That's pretty much it. I think that's a good demo. It's a quick example of bringing in some sound into a from AUM into Koala. You don't need to be in AUM for very long, um, and hopefully that's that's useful.